Hello everyone, today I have here this beautiful picanha, so I'm gonna show you how you can cook it and how you can use it in finding recipe with caramelized onion puree, sassifi and beer sauce. So let's do it! And let's start with the meat. This piece of meat has around 1 kilo, so I'm gonna cut my portions and some of them I cook now and the rest I'm gonna cook later on. When you portion your picanha, you need to make sure you cut it with the grain, not against, like the other steaks. This way the meat becomes more tender and you're gonna cut it against the grain at the end, so the meat will be perfect to eat. I season it with salt and pepper properly and then I'm gonna vacuum seal it with a little bit of the fresh thyme. You can also experiment with different spices or herbs, but I like to keep my meat just like mild taste, so I can enjoy the taste of the meat. And I'm gonna cook it 57 degrees Celsius for around one hour. So the meat is cooking, and the next thing I have to start with is my caramelized onion puree. I have here some red onions, so I'm gonna peel them first and then slice them. You're gonna need at least 10 to 15 onions, so you can actually blitz it at the end properly. Because if you don't use enough, the blender doesn't have chance to blitz it properly. I start the puree with a little bit of the vegetable oil and butter together. Put my onions in and I'm gonna cook everything on medium heat around 10 minutes first. For my garnish, I'm gonna use salsify. And I do it two ways. One is gonna be my main garnish and second is gonna be chips. So first I'm gonna prepare the liquid for the cooking. So I mix water, sugar, salt and lemon juice. You don't need to worry that much about quantities, just make it salty and sweet and sour. Then I can peel my salsify and I'm gonna cook it on medium heat until the salsify will be nice and soft but make sure you don't overcook it. The onions getting softer now, so I add few spoons of sugar, pinch of salt and I'm gonna keep cooking, so everything get nicely caramelized. But make sure you do it on low to medium heat, so the sugar will not burn. And in meantime, I'm gonna deep fry my salsify chips. So I use peeler to create nice slices and then I'm gonna deep fry them in hot oil. And in a few minutes, you end up with something like this. Beautiful, crispy, sassify chips. I just seasoned them with a little bit of salt on the top and they will be ready for the plating. At this time, are my onions nicely caramelized? Of course, you can do it much more as this, but for me now, this is enough. I balance the taste with balsamic vinegar and also I'm gonna add some black beer, because later on I'm gonna make beer sauce, so I think these two are gonna work together. But if you don't want to use beer, you don't have to use it. I reduced everything down and if you have this sort of consistency, you can transfer it inside the blender and blitz it for a few minutes. I also add a little bit of butter for the taste and I see the puree is a little bit too thick, so I add also a little bit of water. And beautiful caramelized onion puree with beer is done. I just transfer it inside the pot so I can keep it hot and the puree is ready for the plating. Beautiful color and super strong taste. So the chips and puree are ready to go and now let's finally finish the meat. So I take the meat out of the bag and dry it a little bit with paper towel. The first thing I want to do is to sear the fat. So I start just on like medium heat and make the skin nice and brown. Then I put maximum heat 
and make nice crust on both sides. The meat is perfectly cooked inside, so you wanna do the crust as fast as you can, so you're not gonna overcook the meat. After you get the beautiful color like this, you wanna leave it to rest for a few minutes. And if you want to make it even more tasty, you can also smoke it. And on the same pan, I'm gonna create my beer sauce. So I'm gonna take out like 90% of the fat and then I deglaze it with black beer. You can also use it normal classic beer or any kind of beer you like. At the same time, I put few peppercorns and I leave it to reduce down. When the beer get reduced like 80% down, I add my homemade beef stock and keep reducing down again. And in the meantime, I finish my salsify. So I just cut it in the hull and then I sear it on the pan so I get nice color. And let's give one piece to my food inspector because he never get salsify in his life. And looks like he doesn't like it because there is lemon juice and he hate sour things. So I just sear it on the pan with a little bit of the vegetable oil until I get nice color and in the meantime I can strain my sauce and I finish it with butter. And if you enjoyed today's recipe guys, don't forget to give a thumbs up and if you still not subscriber, hit the subscribe button down below so you're never gonna miss any of my new video because on this channel I'm gonna teach you every week how to cook like a pro at home. And the beer sauce is ready. Now the last thing I have to do is to cut the meat and let's do the plating. Today I'm gonna make two plating options. The second one you can watch like always as the bonus on my Patreon page. Check out the link in the description down below. And I have to give one piece to my food inspector because he really need to fix his taste after the salsify. And of course the meat he always loves. And by the way guys, I have two spots open in my personal coaching now. So if you're a passionate home cook who would like to move your cooking skills to the next level, learn how you can create your own dishes, how to cook them without any recipes or understand how plating works with the help of my proven personalized training, check out the link in the description down below and apply for my one-on-one -on -one coaching. And if you will be good fit, we will work together on your cooking goals. And now let's finish the plating. I start with two beautiful pieces of the picanha. Then is coming my seared salsify. Two spoons of caramelized onion puree. Some salsify chips on the top. For the greens, I gonna use few borage leaves. And I finish everything with my delicious beer sauce. So what do you think guys? Let me know in the comment. I would say this one is success. I totally recommend you to try it because taste of this thing is amazing. And if you want to learn another recipe with beef steak, check out this video with New York Street, carrots, dates puree and red wine sauce. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.